Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome. We will be making a really fun shaker card using some of the items from the card kit of the month this month. So I'll be using the Brighten My Day stamp set, the Artsy Girl 6x6 paper pad. I also brought in the faux embossed slimline papers from last month's kit and an oval die set for my stash. Now I will be coloring these images um, with my Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. They've been a little bit neglected, so I figured I, I would use them today. And these are really great beginner alcohol marker sets. Um, they come with light and dark colors, so it takes the guesswork out of um, what blends well together. So I really like these if like, I just want to relax and just color because it's already figured out for me which colors go well together. So I picked a yellow flower I really love yellow flowers because I think yellow is a happy color and so I really love yellow flowers and so as I start my coloring with the dark first and then I'll go back with my light color and this color is called daffodil delight and then this one's called old olive so I'm starting with the dark old olive and then I'm going to come back with a light old olive and the way I'm doing this is I'm just putting the dark where the thick thickest line is from the stamp set because there are some thick lines on the leaves so that's where I'm putting it and then I'm gonna come back with the light color and it's really a nice seamless blending i really love coloring with my stamp and blends i actually bought these when i started getting into uh, alcohol marker coloring and at first the copic markers did overwhelm me but then i started getting them little by little um the copic markers that is and you know now i'm used to coloring with them but sometimes it's just nice to go back and use these these markers because you know they they're like the ones that kind of um, taught me how to color with alcohol markers okay <laughs> so now I'm taking the light night of navy I colored her shirt with it and then I colored the what is it a star yes it's a star and I colored that with the yellow and then her hair is gonna be this one is light basic black and then I try to do like that shiny thing in her hair where I left that white part um, I didn't color that white part because I wanted to create kind of like a shiny effect and you know you guys don't know how much I want to color that part but I tried my best not to color in those lines and you know what looking at it from this view it looks really awesome you know and then oh and I also went back with dark basic black so here it is all fussy cut I went ahead and fussy cut that I had ahead of time and so from the artsy girls there's this really really dark um, navy blue paper and that's what I used and then from the faux embossed slimline I chose a yellow I think navy blue and yellow go really really well together it's just a nice color co combo combo and I've gone ahead and trimmed my window sheets and I'm using some of my favorite foam tape from Amazon um, now if you're wondering what all I used in this video don't worry I will have that all listed below as well as on my blog and this one is a 1 8 inch one and what I like to do when I'm making shaker cards is I want to make sure like all the edges look clean I, I don't really want a card to look choppy on the sides because you know you can see the sides and so I try to make like make it look seamless if that makes any sense and then now I'm just um, trimming more foam tape just to cover the excess space so that my shakers can stay in the middle more and not you know in those extra spaces so I like to do that and earlier I did use some of my powder tool to um, wipe the 
acetate just so my shakers will move freely and I'm using some of the shakers from last month's kit I didn't get to use it as much and then here's a trick that I learned from my friend Cheryl here on YouTube she puts another acetate right behind her um, first acetate and I really like that trick because then I don't have to worry about um, the shaker falling or my card not being centered. So I really like this trick that I, le I learned from her. And so we're going to be using an A2 size card. At first I thought I was going to make a mini slimline, but the way my card design is, um, I just think it would be too small. So I kind of needed some white space to make the card look more, I guess, pleasing to me. And so I'm just using the curve of this oval and I'm going to curve my leaves around it as you can see. And I did pick two small flowers and one of the big flowers um, to use on this card. And so I have a big flower there and a small flower together and then I put the other small flower at the bottom and again I'm using the curve of the oval to place my leaves now I didn't pop anything on this because I've already popped this card with you know some foam tape for the shaker so I'm going to just leave it like that and then I'm really loving how this looks and so now I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna place this girl and at first I was like, well, should I place her on the right or left? But then I really like her placement there in kind of like the center um, because there's like a huge space gap right there. So I placed her there. I initially was going to uh, stamp a sentiment inside the shaker, but then the girl would cover, cover my sentiment. So I decided to heat emboss a sentiment from the um, stamp set and this one's gonna say it's a brand new day and I have this yellow uh, embossing powder from Stampin Up it's called Crush Curry and I'm, I'll be using that and I really like the contrast between the navy blue and the yellow I think it's really pretty and then as I was looking at this dusting my embossing powder off I wanted to make another uh, emboss another sentiment at the bottom left and this one's gonna say um, live life colorfully and I really like that um, saying it it really goes with the card because of all the colors from the flowers inside the shaker and so now I'm trying to be really careful so that nothing puffs up or the adhesive like that's what I was scared of like the the window sheet warping but I'm really using thick window sheets here so thank goodness it didn't warp and then for the final finishing touch I'm gonna take some of the yellow flowers from the shaker um, pack that came last month from the kit and then I'm just gonna place it um, on the top two on the top right and one on the bottom left and that finishes up the card well i hope you guys enjoyed this process video and if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to visit jamie shop i will leave a 10 percent coupon code at the bottom have a nice day bye